everyone welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies and um, today I thought I'd take you along we'll do a little bit of a vlog um, let you know what's going on today I'm just about to take Courtney to school um, she normally gets the bus um, but I'm going to take her um, because she needs to go early she's actually going to London today they're going for um, a trip they're doing like a photography trip so um, I'm just about to take her now in the car so she's all dropped off so we're just going to go home now Phoebe's at home with her dad and Ebbs they're just getting ready for school so I'm just going to nip back now do her hair and make sure she's all ready and take Phoebe to <laughs> Right, Phoebes. Yeah. Are we ready for school? Yeah. So number two, kid, off we go. I'm going to go in the car today because because um, I'm going to Lidl afterwards, so we're going to drop you down to school. And guess who's remembered the trolley pound and the carrier bags? Hello. We're on to a winner. Me! Right, off we go. What are you giggling at? Off we go. Look at these crunchy leaves. All the leaves are falling off the trees now, aren't they? I've got nothing else. It's literally... There's lots literally. of leaves, isn't there? Right, so we've got everything. So when Mummy's dropped you off, I'm going to go oh, and they're get... Oh, taking off squishy. Oh, you don't want to take your squishy to school, do you? Oh. Little squishy. Right, let's drop you off then, Phoebes. Yep. That's Phoebe all in and all happy. So now we're just going to nip in the car and go to Aldi, get a bit of food shopping. So this is just a normal day for me. A day in the life of a busy mum. Right, let's go. Little now. I'm just going to get my trolley. Um, I have made a bit of a mistake because I forgot to have breakfast and that's a bit dangerous when you're doing food shopping, isn't it, really? So I'm just going to grab my um, trolley now and, oh, got it stuck. Need to pay attention and I'm just going to get some food. It always smells so nice when you come in here. I just love it. If there is anything interesting, I will show you, but, um, ah, now you see pumpkins. That's what I've been waiting for. Look at that, 129. That is so cheap. And um, oh my god, they are huge for the price. That's going to take up all of my trolley, isn't it? But I need to get some pumpkins for a project that I'm doing because I have got a mini series coming. It's just a three day mini series of Halloween, so I need to pick one of those up for that. Right, just showing you that the monster pumpkins are 279 Look at how ginormous that is. That is absolutely massive. Um, I think I'm just going to get some this size. The girls want some as well, so I might just get some, three of these, and then um, another one for my project. Right, look at me trolley. There's no room for food. So I'm just going to go and pay for the pumpkins first, put those in the car, and then go back round, because otherwise I'm not going to get any food shopping in, am I? We'll just be eating pumpkins. Okay, so we'll just go to the checkout now. Pay for these. Right, quite strangely, these all came to £6.66. So, a bit of a strange one, isn't it? So I'm just going to pop these in the car and then we'll come back round and do what we actually came in to do. oatmeal cookies we've got oatmeal and cocoa cookies and crispy oat cookies and these are i do believe dairy free because i had a look the other day although it's in foreign on the back i'm sure they are so i might pick up a pack of those they're 2.99 at the top there Okay, here's the middle bit. There's not loads on here today, but I have spotted a two-in-one 
trimmer and guillotine cutter there. That's £17.99. And they've got some envelopes as well. They're on any two for three pounds. So we'll just have a wander up. They're just putting the stuff out at the minute. All oh, the trolley's going everywhere. I'm doing it one-handed. There's a few bits and pieces. They always tend to have a good selection on the middle bit. These are quite good for presents, but £14.99, hair and beard, oh, can you say bead trimmer, hair and beard trimmer there. It's got a three-year warranty. That's quite a smart little set, that really, isn't it, for just under £15. Oh, look, we've got some nose and ear trimmers there. I'm not sure how much, oh, 2 pounds they're cheap, aren't they? It's really good. And um, what we've got a rotary shaver. That's $17.99. My dad used to use one of those. Um, we've got things like shower taps and towels and things like that down this section. This is a draft excluder, but to me that looks a little bit thin. Then again, I suppose if you don't want a big one, that's probably quite good for those. Let's get back to the food bit. Cool, look at that. Huge, what does it say? All purpose paper towel. Absorbent, tear resistant, and versatile. That looks cool, doesn't it? It's a huge roll. But I'm just going to get some normal. I'll probably just get these. And that's about it from in here. So I didn't film everything. We've just got to get one last thing. The most important thing for me. Right, that's us done. A chap on the till was like, hey, we're ever so friendly. And he was telling me about pumpkins, about how easy they are to grow and the type of seed to use and everything. So I might have a go at growing my own next year. And he was saying like, you just keep watering them. I'm not very good with watering plants, I have to say. Um, but for lunch I am going to make these rolls are delicious if you've ever tried these I think they're called scotch rolls in Lidl they're about 17p each or something I'm going to do some of those with um, egg and cress for me and Ebbs so um, we'll try that also a little bit of a bit of news for you obviously my new subscribers probably won't know but my girls used to be home educated and Ebony was the only one that wasn't but she is actually going to try school um so hopefully she'll be starting next week so we are going to go and get some uniform today or tomorrow um, to give it a go so I won't go into like why she was or why she might not be in the future or whatever because that's um, you know, I've spoken about it before and that's just the way it is so um, we're going to give it a go I'm going to buy some uniform and um, she's going to try and see if she likes it but my job now is to get all of this into my car get it home I've got the bags in the back of the car and um the lovely job of putting it all away and then after that after i've put it away i will do my cleaning and um get all that done and put some washing in as well mum mm. what are you doing right now i'm putting the shopping away lots of shopping that i'm putting away loads of things right that's the food shopping put away so i'm just coming down to the summer house right so i just want to show you this unit i actually bought this um, from Ikea. Now I've wanted one for quite some time but I've been selling a few bits on Facebook Marketplace and on eBay and I just 
gathered enough money together to be able to get one. Um, it's the Calex unit and it's four by four, so four squares by four squares, and it's 147 centimetres by 147 centimetres. Now, I just bought the plain white one. That's a lot cheaper than um, the others. You can get like different wood effects and stuff, um, but I just bought the cheapest white one. So go on to Ikea and have a look um, if you're interested. I just thought, I was getting a little bit overrun with a lot of the craft stuff and I thought if I can get this unit I can get it in and get it organised so this is not how I'm keeping it but um, me and Ebs just put a few bits and pieces on it the other day we actually put this up ourselves in an hour it didn't take long to put up um, so I've kind of put a lot of my paper crafting stuff I've got some embellishments and stuff there and then sort of like ribbon and whatnots on the top um, lace and then that's my um decoupage we've got our planners as i say it's not staying like this um but it's going to be easier to find stuff so i've got like a lot of my tools and um you know my physics machine and stuff and then i thought what i what i thought is get four of the little inserts at the bottom these rose colored ones because they match this unit that i've had for some time and then you can also buy these inserts as well so you can have them so they go down that way or you can have them that way so you've got like two shelves um so as i say that's just how it is at the moment but it's probably not going to stay like that um i've got sort of like my lace and bits and bobs there but the rest of the craft room is a bit of a mess because I pulled loads of bits off this unit here. Um, so I'm just going to rearrange it all, um, you know, have a little bit of a tidy round. So there's a few more bits that I'm going to sell, just selling it really, just to rejuvenate and get a bit more cash to buy some things that, that I want and just selling on stuff that I don't really need. Um, so I also want to show you something that I ordered from Etsy um, about a month ago. Right, here we go. It's um, it's a Christmas planner book. I'm sorry there's a bit of glare on there, but it says it's the most wonderful time of the year, my Christmas planner 2018. Um, now, loads of Etsy sellers do these. So pop onto Etsy if you're not familiar with it. It's, um, it's a fantastic site and loads of just dead normal people sell on it, but they sell on it from all over the world. Um, I wasn't overly impressed with the quality. It is nice, but I don't like that back part that's just probably me i mean it is it is nice this cost 10 pound including postage which was a really good price um and it, it does what i need it to do so like the front page is lam laminated and then inside we've got november these are like the things to do okay let's just open that and then you've got the december one there and then here it says christmas cards so you write like the name of who you want to send the Christmas card to, if you've brought the card, if you've written it, if you've sent it. You've got a few lists of those. I mean, it's lovely how she set it out. I really like that. Um, what else have we got? This is the gift section. So I have bought a few bits from um, Argos on the three for two because they do like a three for two on toys. So I have got a few bits. I have made a start on those. Um, so with this book then it's got gifts so you put the name of the person you're buying for what you're buying you know if you've got an idea and the budget that you want to spend so I suppose if you don't know what you're buying you can just write the name and the budget and then you just tick this circle look if you've bought it which I thought was fantastic so let's just I do look on Etsy and just put in like Christmas planner or if you just type in planner like zillions will come up you can just find the right one for you um so this is the budget section um starts there so we've got decorations budget and actual yeah because sometimes the budget doesn't meet the actual does it we all know that now i want some new decorations it's just it kills me when i go into the range because there's a tree that i want in there because our tree's like really old and it's too big to go where we need it to go this year and um, because we've moved the living room round and um, i need a thinner tree and I need some stuff and it's doing my head in. Okay, so <laughs> decorations, budget and actual is there. But mine would be like budget zero, zero actual £200. That'd probably be more like it. Okay, so that's those. We've got food and drink. There's a lot for decorations, isn't there, really? So like, you wouldn't need that many spaces for decorations, but you could probably like 
put something else under that. Um, food and drink. So you need quite a big one for food and drink if you've got a family. Um, I mean, we don't go mad at Christmas with food. We don't really buy like extra that much extra we we buy things like i don't know like more j2o or um some little drinks that we wouldn't normally buy we buy like extra things we don't go mad with food um and to be honest with you we're we're kind of out most of the time with family because both of us have got a really huge family we're both one of four so kind of that goes on forever doesn't it really family so we're really lucky that we we do have a really good time over christmas with them um, with lots of families so um then after food and drink there's activities so yeah so if you're going out and you're taking the kids out and you're doing stuff and you've got your budget and what you spend it's a good idea to help you kind of keep track and then you've got your shopping lists so i am mrs list i love lists but to be honest with you i always leave them at home or lose them so i don't even know why i make them so i thought if i've got a book where everything's in one place i can keep it in my handbag and i can jot things down and then unless i lose my bag we're going to be home and dry aren't we so your shopping list and then your little circles when you want to tick them when you've bought them so there's loads of shopping list pages but it has been made quite nicely. It feels quite nice quality. The, the pages feel quite nice. So there's loads of shopping list sections. And uh, this is a bit for elf, your elf. So if um, you've got one of those little naughty elves that you can buy, um, I don't know if, if you're all familiar with this, but you can the elves get up to mischief at night time. And um, then when the kids wake up in the morning, they can see all the things that the elves have done. So you can put down some ideas in there. There's a few pages of those. And then we've got family traditions. We're quite traditional in the things that we do. We, and I think that's kind of passed on to the kids. You know, things that we did kind of when I was young, we kind of still do with my kids. And then I'm sure they'll carry it on with theirs. So you can jot those in. So this one here is Christmas Eve plans. We tend to do like pretty much the same most Christmas Eves, um, if I'm honest. But um, our festivities kind of kick off for christmas eve because the kids love christmas eve too so um that's that all of my children love christmas they love 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 it um then to do lists i need about five million of those i would imagine so we can tick those off is that the end does it end on to-do lists that's oh good there's loads of to-do lists and then we've got some notes in the back so if you've got to jot some extra little bits down you can jot those down and you see now i remember why i bought this because it is really handy but planners are really cool i love planners you've got loads of notes and i like the way she's done like the pattern paper and stuff i think the only thing that i didn't like was this back page but do you know i can cover that can't i if i wanted to but I think I was being a little bit picky. I'm quite liking it now because it just looks like a normal little book. After looking inside, I do like it. So, yeah, that's my planner. Just wanted to show you that. So I am going to start and write a few bits down um, of things that I've got, like ideas of presents and stuff that I want to sort of buy people um, and sort of start and get myself organised. So that's that part of the day. So now I'm going to go back inside the house um, I haven't really got time to tidy it up down here. I've got, I've got loads of washing that I've got to put on. Um, and I'll do that and then I'll make some lunch. Right, it's now one o'clock. We're all done at home. Jobs are all done. Washing's in, out on the line. And uh, we're just going to go and get some of your uniform, aren't we now? Look, she's not very impressed, is she? Look, that's a little sad face. Um, so we've got trainers, we've got loads and loads of bits to buy for uniforms. Look at your face. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's like somebody's, you know, nothing. <laughs> okay, right, let's just go and get the uniform now. Okay, right, we're at the uniform shop now. Everybody's here. Look, she's still got a really, really sad face. Does that look like a kid that wants to go to school? No. no, it doesn't. But she's going to go for me and she's going to try it and see if she likes it. So let's go in and buy some lovely expensive uniform. So we're out the shop and she's happier now. She's all right. Um, so that's the first row of purchases. So we're just going to go and get you. What have we got to get now? My 
Her teeth hurt because she's getting her braces next week and she's put, they've put some bands in it ready to um, sort her teeth out. So we've got the first lot of uniform. We need shoes. Trainers, a pencil case. A bag. Key ring, one direction. We're really not getting one direction autumn, Zebs. I've got a stationery in my room, it's not open. No. Oh, Oh god. Right, so let's go to the, what are we gonna get now? Some shoes or some trainers? Sports I've got to sell a kidney. You better stay for at least a week. Um, okay. Okay, right anyway, right, let's get in the car and go to the next shop. Okay, it's trainer time. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. Oh sorry, I was okay, talking. Okay, it's trainer time. <laughs> Radio, it's trainer time now. We're gonna nip in sports direct and get some trainers for PE. Right, so I think, oh, yeah, I am. I don't think they are really. I think they're in a three. That's what not being an eight. So we're going to go for those. I like those. Should we go and ask if they got them in a seven? Yeah. Right, we've just got to go and find somebody now. Hello. Shoe in a seven. Shoe in a seven. That's a nice sports car. Oh, look at Miss. Let's get distracted. Very nice. Yeah, I think that's yeah, it. Yeah. Right, we've brought the trainers upstairs and she's got a sports bra as well. And we've just come downstairs because we need like a PE bag. And do you like that one? Yeah. Oh, oh there's a Nike oh, one at the Nike top. Well, there's a different Adidas one down the bottom there, look. She's got a I don't know what that is. A zip. <laughs> it's got a little zip in it. What were you thinking? Oh, let's have a room. Let's have a look. Right, we're going to go for this Adidas one. She likes that one. So yeah, let's go to Till and pay for that. And then if we've got time before we get Phoebe, should we nip and try and get some stationery? See what we can find. Okay, we're just in Asda and we're just finding some shoes. She's found some black shoes that she likes. So I think we're going to go for those, aren't we? They actually look quite nice for this. They do look nice for your outfit, for your skirt. They do. Um, so what else have we got to get? Just some stationery and stuff. Um, trousers. But they don't trousers. Have they did have some look trousers around here, here, but they haven't got Ebony's size. No, she's she's grey trousers. We could probably even ask out the back and see if they've see if they've got any more because we've got to find some grey trousers pretty quick. Um, anyway, we'll get these shoes because they're okay. You do. You are too sco school for cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to get some pencils and pens now. So we're just having a look and seeing what there is. Can't really find a pencil case though. These say they're 50p. Two packs eraser. I mean, is it three them? pack? Look. Oh, it is 50p for three. Is that them really weird brush no, things? No, they're together. Yeah, there's the stuff that's like a sponge, but literally they're 50p for three, which is super duper cheap so we'll just get a bit of stationery and then move on to the next thing right so we've got the stationery and I'm going to get this for Alfie look my first Halloween bib there ah, it's a pound set there that's cheap isn't it? it was two pounds got some folders I don't think you need folders or anything like that no we've just got to check the time make sure we're okay for Phoebe because it'll be t time to go and get Phoebe soon what time is it Ebbs? 20 past two Oh, right. So, oh, on your watch. Ta -da. So, if there's anything else we need to get, we'll pick this up while we're in here, and um, then we'll nip home and go and get Phoebe. Right, as is all done. And why did I buy these coconut mushrooms? Because I'm just going to eat them all. I should never have bought them. Right, it's about ten to three, and I'm just going to quickly zoom into Morrison's to pick something up for a project that I want to do later on then after that we're going to go and get Phoebe from school so, right we've got Phoebe she's got a top all untucked and goodness knows not looking as neat as she went but that's uh, that's her so let's go home and put the bits and pieces away back home now um, so now I've got to put my shopping away um, sort some tea out get some washing out and we're washing out to dry um, Phoebe's really tired so I'm just going to get her a little drink and a little snack and um, if I've got time before we go to Rainbows I'll do my Halloween video because I'm filming a video for that if not I'll film it when um, I've taken Phoebe to Rainbows or later on and I've got some editing 
to do later as well. See, she's happier now, aren't you? I think the trainers swung it, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. I think the trainers <laughs> did it. Okay, so no rest for the wicked, as they say. Right, it's about ten past four now, so we've got a little bit of time before rainbows. So I've just sorted the tea out and um Poppy. We're just gonna um go down the craft room, get a few bits, so I'm gonna do my Halloween video now before rainbows. Here's Poppy, look, she's growing. Come on, Pop. Say hello. Look at this horrible scabby teddy. They're getting all excited now. Is my little rainbow just off now so you got an hour at rainbows and then I'll come and pick you up you all right yeah yeah I get to do some running about after school you get to do running about do you yeah. right let's I go in play times at school do you do you this is it oh. I, thought, I thought it was one that's it in we go then Bye. you're going in Fabes she's all happy why do I always push the wrong door I don't know if anybody else does that I always pick the wrong door right now we're going to pop to see Chloe because I've picked up a couple of bits for Alfie so we're going to pop and see Chloe now ding dong that's like a really quiet knock hello hello you alright in we go are you eating your hands now? Okie doke, so we've just left Chloe. It's just going to go and pick Phoebe up. But I've got to deliver this to my friend. Um, I've made something for her. So I'm just going to go to her house now, drop that off. And then go and pick Phoebe up. Made, darling. Yeah, Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Stop there. They weren't very good because there wasn't a lot of stuff. Weren't there a lot of stuff? Right. There was actually like icing. Icing. No icing left. They still look good. Basically icing. Okay. No sprinkles. No. That's all right. Okay. Right. Are we going to go home now? Yeah. Get you. Get your book read for school, and then we've got to go back and pick Courtney up from her London trip. What? I think she's coming back about half Have seven. We've got to go to London. No, we've not got to go to London. We've got to go to Courtney's school to pick her up. Mm. Because she's been to London, but she's on her way back on the bus now. So we need to go home, read your book for school, get your pajamas on. The black is really nice, the red's not very nice. Is it not? Mm. Who are these anyway? They look like they're rainbow colours. Yeah, um I do like your try to like do... your top. Yeah, I'll try to do one of me. That's yeah. Me. Is that you, is it? Yeah. Who's the other one then? Ebony. You're an Ebs? Oh, cool. Right then, should we get ourselves back in the car? We're back and forth, back and forth all the time, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. We need to have shares in petrol, I think. Right, in we go then. Okay, so um, we're at home now. I'm just going to sit down. Courtney's just text to say she's about half an hour away. They're around about half an hour late. I think there was an accident on the way home. So hopefully everybody's okay that were involved that you know that was involved in the accident. Hopefully we can get a little bit of this work done when Courtney gets back. She's doing um, this history for a GCSE and she's looking at um, medieval medicine at the minute. So some of the things from years ago were completely gruesome and quite fascinating, but I'm very glad that we live in this day and age, put it that way. Um, so I'm just going to sit down. It's half seven now. I'm going to sit down at my computer. I've got today's vlog. I'm going to start and put on, um, and then also I've got three Halloween um, little videos. It's just a little mini series as well that I need to edit. Um, so that'll be my first sit down of the day and that's still working. So um, I think I'll get a rest when it's bedtime, maybe when it's bedtime to sit down. So I'll sit down and do that now. Fever's all ready for bed and um, I'll go and get Courtney in about half an hour. Right, Phoebes, I can't see you. Do you want to put the light on? We've got Courtney and apparently she's really hungry and she's on to the chip shop with Ebony to get some chips for tea because her drink leaked on her lunch. But, um, um, some chicken nugget. 
I said to her, don't get chicken nuggets because it's going to take ages to cook. And Ebony's gone in because I can't go in because I've got my pyjamas on. You've got your jams on, haven't you? So they've gone into the chip shop now, and I don't... I hope they're not that long. I'm taking my shoes off. Because we need to get you into bed, don't we, Fee? I'm taking my shoes off. What have you got in your mouth? Straw? It's been a long day. Can I take my shoes off? Why are you taking your shoes off? Because my feet feel uncomfortable. Your feet feel uncomfortable? I Hang on. Know. If Colton is getting chicken nuggets... I have a plan. You've got a plan? Yeah. So, I'm gonna, when she's not looking, I'm gonna get like this. When she's looking in the window, I'm gonna go. You're gonna sneak one. And then, I'm gonna sneak a chicken nugget. Do you reckon she is getting chicken nuggets? Because I did say, don't get chicken nuggets because they take ages. Do you reckon she is? She could have had a nice blooming. Whopper. Sausage. Or pie. Mm. Or it's all ready. Or um um chicken no. No, not chicken nugget. <gasps> Whopper! <sighs> sold. What's sold? Sold? Oh, someone's got a sign up say here they come. Do 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 have we got chicken nuggets? You got chicken nuggets! Has she got chicken nuggets? <laughs> Has she? She's going to hunt it for you. Oh. Have you got chicken nuggets? Oh, I've got meat pieces. <laughs> meat pieces? Yeah. Have they got some sort of bat around? Yeah, and they may come from an animal with rings. Oh. You got... I really wanted them. And I'm... she had to cook more chips. <sighs> right, for that you've got to share them out. <laughs> no! I can't eat them though. <laughs> what? I knew it. I blooming knew it. Anyway, how was London? Oh, cherry head. Um, it was very good. We went up the, t well, we went up the shard. Oh, we went up the shard. Um, it was very good. It was very high and I'm not good with heights. Um, I got some nice there? pictures though. Can charge, yeah. Yeah, the big tall thing that when you look at it from the ground, it goes up into the clouds. Yeah. Nice. Um, I just inhale vinegar. And we went to the Tate Modern Art Gallery thing. That was really good, but we couldn't take any pictures while we were in there. Um, and then we went round the Borough Market and we went Nando's. Yeah, we went Nando's. I had Nando's for lunch because my ham sandwich got wet because my drink leaked. I bet you poured your drink over it on purpose. I didn't. <laughs> Everyone was like, caught your bag's leaking. I was like, who just took water over me because it like went over my legs. And they were like, no one. And then we were walking in and they were like, caught your bag's leaking. And like, there's like a hole in my drink. Courtney, I've got to say, that vinegar's making my eyes water. Is it me or is it really I'm strong? Really hot. They're really strong. No. <gasps> a bit warm it's yet. Really hot. Right, so you had a jolly old day, so I'm going to go home now, put this little champ to bed. It took us three and a half hours to get home. Oh dear. This little champ. This little champ. Oh gosh, it's been an eventful day. Everybody can tell you about her uniform shopping. <gasps> she wasn't happy earlier, were you? I was angry. Is it Monday? It might be. Oh my god, we saw Harvey Fossil earlier. Harvey Fossil! That's not his obviously name, but there we go. Right, say bye to everybody from Mum's Busy Vlog. I'm going to go home and do some more work. I just want to go to bed. Say bye bye. Bye, Mum's Busy. I can't bye! Bye! Oh. I'll go Courtney first. Bye! Right, let me whisper something to you. Who are you whispering to? Where are you I going? Can't. You've got your seatbelt on. <laughs> Yeah. Bye! <laughs>